Hello and welcome live to Hong Kong Stadium, where our two sides for tonight's match are about to be introduced before they trot out onto what is not uh, an ideal pitch here after heavy rain in Hong Kong. It's Kitchi against Manchester United, a much anticipated game at the end of an arduous tour for Man United. I'm joined up in the commentary booth here at Hong Kong Stadium by John Levetz and uh, John, no doubt, these players will be itching to get home, but one more stop on this tour. Yes, Kitchi this evening, of course, the runners-up in the Hong, Hong Kong League, and uh, should be a very interesting game. Providing this uh, pitch, which has caused a lot of controversy over the last couple of uh, days, uh, looks not too bad. Of course, you and, you and I were up close earlier, Andrew, and uh, it looks a little bit crusty un, un, underfoot as well. It is going to be interesting to see how the players uh, handle the surface again. From a distance, as you can see here, it looks fairly green. You get down on the pitch up close, and it is basically mud and sand with a very thin layer of very thin grass on top. So there is the uh, lineup for Kitchi, one of the uh, great names of uh, Hong Kong football, and they have had uh, a good run in the Asian Cup over the last couple of years, as well as, of course, the Hong Kong Championship. Coached by Alex Gomez, who is the second Spaniard to take the helm at uh, Kitchi after the exit of uh, Joseph Gambau, who is now coaching down in Adelaide in Australia's A-League. So we do have some news on the lineup for Manchester United. We'll wait till uh, we get a chart that we can talk with through you. The stadium here holds just over 40,000. There they are, the stars that uh, are, well, fairly regular visitors to Hong Kong going back to the 1990s, uh, this time without Sir Alex Ferguson coaching, of course, David Moyes, uh, John Levette, using this tour with a, one eye on the season and their first game in the Premiership against Swansea, trying out as many players as he can. Yes, David Moyes, 10, ten years at Everton, and a pretty successful manager there, built a very strong, good team. He's now stepped into the big shoes of Alex Ferguson and uh, has brought his team with him. Uh, he's brought Steve Round along from Ever Everton as well, who's the assistant manager, uh, along with Jimmy Lumsden and, of course, Chris Woods, the goal goalkeeping coach. And they'll be aided by Phil Neville and, of course, Ryan, Ryan Giggs, who's now a play player coach for Manchester United. There's Ryan Giggs starting on the bench uh, this evening. Uh, uh, John, of course, uh, that is just a, a small part of a very large entourage. Man United have come to Asia with close to 200 people. So that's uh, direct Man United-related uh, media personnel, players, coaching staff, physios, you name it. And uh, you can only imagine the size of the plane they've had to charter to get them all uh, out here. Then, of course, down to Australia, uh, back up, well, Thailand uh, at first, of course, Australia, then up to Japan, two stops there in Yokohama and Osaka, and now back down to uh, Hong Kong. Yes, it's been a bit of a mixed tour for, for United. Uh, they lost 1-0 to the Singer All-Stars in Thailand, then they beat the A-League All-Stars 5-1. Uh, the Yokohama Mariners, uh, they lost 3-2. And uh, Cesaro Osaka, they had a two-all draw with that last gasp goal from Wilfred Zaha. And, uh, of course, uh, their Asian leg of this tour, Kitchi this evening. And uh, we, should, we sh should be in for a great, very interesting game. Well, John, of course, the tour, uh, as such, doesn't exactly end here. The Asian leg does, but they still have more work to do when they get back to Europe. Yeah, they've got a match uh, beginning of August against AIK Football, and uh, that's on the 6th of August. Then they've got Rio Ferdinand's testimony, uh, that or testimonial, uh, that's uh, Old Trafford against Sevilla. And then, of course, they've got Wigan Athletic in the Community Shield 11th of August. And then Barclays Premier League, Swansea City, 17th of August. That's when the big games all kick off. Now, let's just get back to the pitch, because no doubt there you have it. Uh, that is the best view that you'll have. Uh, but we now have the, the man new lineup, And as you can see, uh, most of the big stars will start this match on the bench. Yeah, so Ben Amos in goal. He's their third choice goal goalkeeper. Patrice Ever, of course, on the left. Their captain as ever. Uh, in the, the absence uh, of uh, other players. And, of course, Danny Welbeck playing up front. Michael Keane get, gets a chance, a young pro prospect playing in the centre of defence uh, with Rio Ferdinand on the bench this evening. Yeah, Rio Ferdinand joined uh, on the bench by the likes of Giggs and uh, Robin Van Persie. 
Hopefully we'll see some of those players later on. And, of course, Phil Jones as well. Uh, another great young prospect came all the way from Black Blackburn Rovers. Had a bit of a difficult season last year with injury, as did quite a lot of these players. Good to also see Ashley Young and Chris Smalling back in the starting li lineup uh, as they were both injured themselves, but looking fit and ready to go this evening. So a slightly delayed kickoff here, which is good news for some of the fans who still have not uh, piled into the stadium. We do have a sellout here. There were tickets on sale at the uh, gate uh, earlier this morning. Uh, but now very much sold out. So Wilfred Zaha, who uh, got into a little bit of strife when he uh, went to the airport to start his Asian tour, he turned up without his official Manchester United blazer and tie. He turned up in sneakers, jeans and a T-shirt. Sneakers weren't even laced up, and he was probably marched back to the car, and they managed to uh, scrape up a spare jacket and tie for him. So, lesson learned for the new boy. Well, of course, uh, he was playing with Chris, Crystal Palace in the playoffs, got them all the way to the Premier League, but uh, played well enough uh, against United and e even scored against them in the League Cup last season. And that was enough for Sir Alex Ferguson to want him to come along and join United. And what an exciting prospect he will be for this team. So, we get underway here at the Hong Kong Stadium on a difficult pitch to play on, to say the least. And we are expecting goals aplenty, that is, if all these players are not wrong-footed by the uh, literally tons of sand that were poured onto this pitch uh, yesterday. Training, of course, was cancelled on Sunday. Uh, man, you were supposed to put on a show for the crowd here on early Sunday evening. Uh, they cancelled in advance, lucky they did, because the rain bucketed down uh, here in Hong Kong. Uh, but organisers say that the pitch should hold up. Yeah, let's hope it does. Uh, that press conference from Richard Sco Scudamore from the Premier League, uh, chief, chief executive saying that it might hinder Hong Kong's hopes of holding the Barclays Asia Trophy um, again in the next cu couple of years. But uh, let's hope that we have a great evening uh, tonight. Of course, we had Manchester City, Tottenham and Sunderland here last week. Lovely uh, flick back by Kitchi. Good work. Started off with a corner from Lam Car Why it's back to him again. Good start from Kitchi. Well, that's what they're going to need to do early. Bring the bring the game to United. United, of course, in pre-season, but always wanting to go 100%. And a good opportunity for Kitchi. So, Lamb again. It's a low one, not a particularly well taken kick. Lamb seeming with a lack of uh, support back for Chu. Not a bad ball lobbed in. Kitchi doing well to maintain possession here. That's uh, Conchela. The break from Zaha. Really. One of the players have come to see, and United. Probing there into Kitchi's area. And now that they have possession, the uh, bulk of percent percentage is uh, probably about to start. And Wilfred Zaha here showing why they paid a lot of money for him. Great pace, great power. And the shot comes in, deflected in, in the end, quite fortuitously for Kitchi. Yeah, kicked uh, away by Zeshan. Silva That's doing good work down there on the, the right. Christian Anan, the number 15 for Kitchi. Doing a pretty good job for them so far. <laughs> Danny Welbeck, uh, a rare breed, a Manchester man through and through, born there, came up through the youth system. Of course, an England player now as well, and uh, always exciting to, to watch him play. And just to be able to get into a Manchester United team that's got Robin Van Persie, Wayne Rooney, and of course Javier Hernandez in it is uh, pretty impressive in, it, in itself.
Zahar again gives chase and uh, he's made a, a nasty connection there with uh, Zeshan Rehman. Back for Resio. And a slip up and really you're going to see a lot more of that this evening, I'm sure. John Cam Toe getting upended by this, uh, again, very slippery pitch. Again, underneath that thin layer of grass, it's just a very smooth surface of mud. Anderson plays it inside. And some good tight defending by Kitchi. Avoiding the corner as well. Resio at once, who did most of the work there. Yes, good uh, play against Ashley Young. Young back after injury and looking uh, very sharp in this preseason match. Wang Zhenpeng in goal for Kitchi. Kitchi, the uh, reigning Hong Kong champions. And Anne. Back for Chu, through for Anand again, not, uh, well, not much support for him. Not a great ball, gobbled up there by Ben Amos. Yeah, good, uh, solid hands by Amos there early on in this match. Amos has made just seven appearances for United since 2006. Yeah, he is their third goal goalkeeper, of course, David De Gea, uh, the number one, and as Ling Lingard, both fighting for that position to Amos, great keeper in his own right, and he obviously gets a chance here on this tour to shine. United fans all over the world are, of course, following the Wayne Rooney transfer saga very closely. Odds are, are now, it seems, that he won't go anywhere, although Jose Mourinho today said that he has been handed a £30 million war chest by Chelsea to try and grab him. John, enough? Enough money? No, I don't, I don't think so. I think that uh, Manchester definitely need Rooney. Rooney needs United. Uh, it's an important year for him. He doesn't want to be unsettled, of course, with the World Cup coming up, World Cup qualifiers. It will be important for Rooney to stay at United, consolidate and uh, play well. Cleverly. Carrick gets a touch. Anderson flicks it through. well to get through his man an awkward bounce back for Anan Anan coming through again just keeping it away from Zaha that's Lamb and uh, that was not the best of balls out wide for Alex Alcande yeah, a little bit of a hole in the centre there from the Manu midfielders. And uh, a real sign there with that run by Fabio up, up the wing. And, of course, that's the way United play. They like to get their wing-backs forward, Patrice Evra and Fabio. David Moyes there, not particularly happy with that camera in his face. Up on the sidelines now to get away from it. And of course, Moyes is learning thick and fast that uh, if you're the Manchester United manager, you get scrutinised. Michael Keane plays it back. Uh, John Keane, uh, who you've been following, a player uh, some fans don't know too much about, but certainly a lot spoken about him now. 
Yeah, Mike, Michael Keane, it's good to see him on this tour. You know, a lot of these young young players, they, they talk about uh, loaning, loaning them out uh, to different clubs. Keane certainly won for the future for United. And uh, Zaha plays it forward, and Anne, who just always seems to be in the right place, Ashley Young. Welbeck lets it slip, Lamb not doing a great job of getting it out of their own area. Scooped up by Wang Zhenpeng. And good to see Anderson in this United team. You know, he was in, in and out all last season. Uh, wasn't always in favour with Sir Alex, but uh, he's a great midfielder, great attacking player. And uh, good to see these players get these, these opportunities on these tours. And uh, good to see, yeah, and just back, back to Mike, Michael Keane. He was uh, on, on loan to Leicester, but uh, looks like he'll be in the squad for this season. And it'll be great cover for players like Rio Ferdinand and uh, Amanda Vidic, the club captain, of course, who's not here on, on this tour with injury. Chip forward by Huang Yang. And it's a ball too far for Alex Alcande. You get the feeling, though, that Alcande is just waiting to be unleashed. You do have some firepower, of course, known as Hong Kong Barca, and uh, the way they play, and, uh, they certainly do like to knock the ball around. They do have some skills of their own. Zaha. Zaha with a bit of pace. Inside for Fabio. Again, Zaha showing great pace of turn down, down the wing. Well, that's not the uh, first time they've been saved by a good clearance from Zeshan Rahman either. Uh, the big man with the shaved head in the centre of defence for Kitchi. Young. Jumps over that one, dances over, if you like, beautifully. Ashley Young, of course, the former Aston Villa midfielder and winger. It's a great ball through. And uh, Danny Welbeck there. Alex Gomez, of course, the new manager for Kitchi. Chu. Chu Su K, the captain of Kitchi. Doesn't have that much of a touch uh, this evening. This is Carlos. Cancela doesn't really have anywhere to go. Anan pushed off the ball so easily by Fabio. Again, Andrew, early on you can see that uh, that triangle combination between Zaha and uh, De Silva, and of course. Uh, Good work by John Cam Toe throwing himself into that. Well, John, 12 and a half minutes gone so far. Uh, what do you make of things? Kitchy uh, certainly holding their own for the moment at least. Fabio calling for it out on the far right. Yeah, it's uh, a little bit of an even-paced game so, so far. Neither team really pushing forward that, that much. United, of course, have had the better clear-cut chances. Amos hasn't really had an awful lot to do. But uh, don't underestimate Kitchi. They're a pretty, pretty good side. And then, oh, we nearly got away with that one. Carrick. Back for Carrick again. And your pace has just slowed down that little bit.
looking to use Fabio, but uh, just tapped out by Huang Yang. Carrick back for Cleverly. Back for Keane again. John, something else the United side have to deal with here is the humidity. Uh, as we notice walking up here from Times Square in Causeway Bay, the humidity is pretty stifling down there right now. Yeah, it's been a pretty warm day, and of course, you can feel it in the air. It's going to be a good workout for these United players. You know, they're all trying to get to full fitness in the next two or three weeks, and uh, that's what David Moyes will be hoping. So certainly the Kitchy players much more used to these type of conditions. worth trying Anderson from just outside and Anderson such an exciting young player uh, it's great that David Moyes is putting him in this team good effort here uh, I think the goalkeeper had it covered but uh, certainly very impressive Carrick, he's going to hold on to this well, not for too long. Unlucky, not that second time though, and that's 1-0. Absolutely hammered home. So we see here, ball comes off the post and Welbeck in the right place at the right time, puts that one in. It was well spotted by Carrick to set it up. Danny Welbeck, just one goal last season for United in 27 appearances, so that's going to do his chances of getting into the first team on a regular basis, the world of good. Very quick, very sharp, and uh, United thoroughly deserving this 1-0 lead. John, as we saw in the replay, they had a little bit of luck initially with uh, a rebound that uh, basically set that goal up. Yeah, Ashley Young with that shot and uh, thought it would go in off, off the post, bounced perfectly for Welbeck in the end. And uh, a nice half volley beating uh, Wang Zhengpeng with pace and power. Anderson closing it again, getting a little help. Anderson comes away with it now. Over for Zaha, Fabio calling for it out on the far right, but Zaha feels he doesn't need him. Well, Zaha, this exciting player, with a great effort, just ballooned it over the bar in the end, but uh, also a look at the Manchester United new kit there for this season with the black collar, looking very smart. Of course, we aren't to forget they are the Premier League cha champions here. And uh, very excited to have them here in Hong Kong. Zaha, not born in England, born in the Ivory Coast, came to England with his parents when he was four. in for Lamb, oh, spoiling Carrick. Young, taking his time with it for Zaha. Wilbeck holding on to it. Now inside, the chance for a second. 
Zaha misfires. And Zaha over the bar. Unbelievable miss in the end. You see here, great work down the right side by Danny Welbeck. Picks him out beautifully. And Zaha shows composure with the tre with the chest, but uh, balloons it over the top. And uh, quite a big miss there for, for him. Alcande plays it back for Jung. Lamb. Here it is again. And it just balloons it over the top. Put that one into orbit. Anderson. Kitchy, I'd say it's fair to say as we come up to the 20-minute mark, punching above their weight. Despite trailing by that one goal. And Anne chasing this with uh, very little support up there with him. Manages to get round, it's out. Ball was out before. Pretty good effort there in the end. But, uh... Morning, just seeing that ball out. Here's an Ann, and that ball definitely crossed the line before it was brought back into play. And Ann, though, doing a wonderful job of getting around his man. Well, from this angle, that certainly looked like that ball had nowhere to go but in the back of the net. Yeah, great defensive block in the end from that Ashley Young effort. Again, Patrice Evra getting to the byline. Beautiful ball back in. And uh, that great diving tackle. So that's what happened. The from deflection off the leg of one of the Kitchy defenders. And Cancela, I believe, with that uh, great play. Connected with that one right on the sweet spot. And, uh, one of the criticisms that uh, Sir Alex Ferguson had of Chris Wally was he didn't score enough goals defensively. It's a beautiful header there. And power and pace. Great ball across from Tom Cleverley. Jumps higher than everybody else. And just beats the goalkeeper there with sheer pace from that header. Ashley Young again involved. To Smalling with a great header. And, uh, Wang Zheng Peng. Good effort actually to try and save one, but no chance in the end. United 2 0 up. Fabio. Cleverly buying a little bit of time. Referee didn't like that. Oh, very quickly taken, but uh, yeah. didn't come to no avail in the end. Wilbeck being a bit of a chance there, and that was wasted. Zaha 
that for Fabio. Oh, look at that speed. But again, it's that man, Zeshan Rehman. The uh, block at the back for Kitchi. Anderson to Fabio. Alcande on the break. Alex Alcande. Looks like he's going to take a little while getting up. Yeah, good run from Alcande there. And, uh... A little bit of work from Kitchi. Seemed to be quite happy to slow the play down in this in this match against United. Of course, going to be used to playing against much quicker, much faster opposition. And uh, I think that Kitchi are just hoping that they can get something on the break each time. This is Chu, the Kitchi skipper for Lamb. a good looking ball across Alcande was in there waiting Carrick throws down the long ball for Welbeck Anderson they completely bypass him Zaha inside for Fabio oh a little toe poke that was a superb finish and cheeky 3-0 Wow, what a great goal. All started with Danny Welbeck. Uh, that over hit. Cross. Uh, picked up by Wilfred Zaha. And Fabio. A great finish. Just passed it into the net. United showing why they are the Premier League champions. See Zaha here showing again a turn of pace. But, uh, also shows the intelligence just to knock that ball past the two defenders. And uh, unfortunately, the goalkeeper was unsighted. And Fabio, after a pretty good performance so far from him, pretty good atta attacking performance, uh, showing why United always play well when they get, get the ball wide. Right off his big toe, that one. Didn't waste any time at all. And John, another example that... Uh, possession doesn't necessarily win matches because Kitchi have had plenty of it so far exactly it's all about putting the ball in the net and uh, United are putting on a masterclass of that so so far this evening Andrew it's pretty frightening to 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 know that uh, you've got players like Robin van Persie and uh, Ryan Giggs on the bench for United to come on. And they will not stay on the bench. We will absolutely see them this evening, and things will get even more fun. This is Carrick. again and the pitch holding up surprisingly well so far Andrew it's a, a few passes there we saw that pass from Anderson just getting caught a little bit underfoot the ball and uh, not as crisp as uh, they would like, like it to be I think uh, the pitch is really dictating the pace of this game as well so far back to Carrick the birthday boy celebrated his 32nd birthday just yesterday and become a real regular in this Manchester United team yeah, 300 and uh, close to 320 appearances for United yeah, he 
goalkeepers in, in, in and out of his first few seasons, but uh, Sir Alex Ferguson really relied on him, and uh, he'll be a real linchpin in the centre of mid midfield for David Moyes' reign. Rain, that's optimistic. I'm sure you're right. Well, of course, he'll be under huge pressure to actually win something in his first season. He won't get much, much chance. Uh, but uh, I'm sure he's got a great squad. And uh, from what I've been reading, uh, they've got some great techniques. And uh, I look forward to the new pre Premier League season with anticipation. Back for Carrick. Cleverly playing hardball there, dispossessing Lamb. Anderson. Zaha, he feels he doesn't need uh, a Fabio. Young. Straight to the keeper. And Wilfred Zaha there showing a turn of pace, as you say. Decided not to pass to Fabio, instead went more central. But, uh, unlucky there for Welbeck. Kitchy, lucky that time. Uh... Chris Morning again, finding himself in a very advanced position for a centre half. Um, and, uh, unfortunate miss there in the end. So Matt Lamb comes on. Matthew Thomas Lamb. Andrew, conditions looking pretty pretty warm out there so, so far this evening. They are, but again, as we just pass the half hour mark, uh, Chisuke, the skipper, coming off, and that at this stage of the game, unusual. Yeah, I think that's more of a an injury type uh, sub substitution. Did look to be not moving particularly well, and uh, a little bit of a blow for Kitchi that one. Cancela back for Zeshan. An under pressure kick there by Wang. Carrick lets it go. Barely a touch there from Anderson. And again, the pitch getting the better of the two players. So Kitchi getting the benefit of the doubt there with that free kick. Anderson has been with United since 2007. Lamb doesn't get the momentum to follow that one through. Zaha plays it back for Smalling, the goal scorer. One of three. out of the crowd there's quite a few people waving fans in their face uh, we have a slight breeze up here in the commentary booth there's nothing down on the pitch I can tell you it's hot Recio to Lamb Zeshan Wang pummels it forward again See with Kitchy Andrew that uh, they're set up with one striker really, just hoping to get that break or get something from a free kick. But uh, really at the moment, it's a bit of a, a walk in the park, as it were, for United. Well, it, it is. They're almost sharing possession with with Kitchy 50-50, but uh, when they do get the ball, they're doing a lot more with it. Fabio, as always, calling for it out wide. Only just keeps it in. Zaha. Zeshan to Lamb. Young. Back for Young. Well control and that's opened them up.
Huang doing a good job there. Uh, and Nan now under pressure from Carrick, from uh, Fabio. Nicely laid on for Lamb. That's clever play by Kitchi. A good spell by them. This is Alcande. Carlos going for uh, a little bit of dramatics there. Yes, and a bit of uh, something for the local crowd to cheer about. But, uh, in the end, came came to nothing. Amos just picking the ball up. But, uh, that's what Kitchi need to do. They need to be a little bit uh, harder in midfield. Of course, try and get those quick breaks. Uh, United will be pushing up, so there's bound to be a few little gaps at the back. Keane. Young Michael Keane. He looks very assured at the back there, Andrew. He doesn't really look uh, like he's very inexperienced. We say he was uh, out to Ipswich Town last season and uh, be hoping to really start playing more for this first team for United. Evra doing uh, some very hard but uh, quiet, almost unnoticed work out there on the far uh, left-hand side of the field. In fact, uh, Evra was calling for it then. Yeah, Patrice Evra, of course, has been a great servant to Manchester United over the years. And uh, here's the club captain in the absence of Nemanovic, who uh, will hopefully be back in pre-season uh, when they get back to the UK. Saha to Fabio, who's given it away. Ball still in play, though. Carrick. Fabio is keeping it away from uh, Anan. Keane decides to go for a little bit of a run. Lamb. And an exasperated, an exasperated sigh from the crowd there, a wasted pass. Yeah, of course, United playing at a much slower pace than they, they normally would. And uh, the problem with that is the fact that they're probably not going to score goals and push, push forward as much. United very, very much a high-tempo type team. And uh, even these early parts of pre-season, pre when they slow it down, just don't look as effective. A professional nudge there from Ashley Young. Yeah, but uh, Young not having any of it. Feels that was a, a, a tough decision. Of course, things haven't gone all the United's way on this tour. And uh, Japan, John, as you briefly mentioned at the beginning of the program, was uh, a wee bit of a wake-up call for them yeah, in Osaka. They played a you know a couple of good good teams. Uh, they lost three two, and then obviously managed to salvage that draw in the last game. But that's what you need in pre preseason. You know, it's not all about winning and scoring lots of goals. It's about getting the fitness le levels up. Especially for David Moyes, it's about seeing what players he's going to use in the, the league. Because, of course, you know, the, the new season's coming up. He's a new manager in a new team. And, uh, you know, for him, it's a daunting prospect. It really is. And it's going to be interesting to see, you know, come that first day of the season against Swansea, who are a very, very good team, um, what team he's actually going to pick. But uh, you know, what uh, a list of players he has to pick from. And as we've seen here now, United keeping their tradition of strength in depth and also, you know, bedding in young young players. You know, we had the likes of the Beckhams and the Nevilles, Giggses and Nicky Butt and uh, Paul Scholes, uh, who, have, who have all gone on now to be ma to be managers and be part, part of this fo football game. Um, so for United to be carrying on that tradition, um, I think there's some 12 players in this squad who are all under 23 years of age. 
And when you look at players like Chris, Chris Morning, already play for England, and uh, you know looks a very, very accomplished centre half. Uh, these are players that are keeping people like Rio Fer Fernand on the bench. The age of the United squad is something that's just not discussed enough, is it? I mean, we have a very exciting, interesting season coming up. We have transfers, of course, but we have also coaches moving all over the place. And a United squad, again, on the age, who are looking like they're going to be around for a very long time, which is quite scary for sides like Swansea, who they well, right. take on yes. in their opening game. We have David Moyes, who's now you know, at United. We have uh, the special one back at Chelsea. And that's always going to be interesting. We have uh, managers like Ian Holloway back at Chris Crystal Palace. And, uh, of course, uh, that's going to be interesting. He was with Black Blackpool before. He's always exciting for the media. And uh, it's going to be probably, they reckon, the most open Premier League season for a long, long time. And, of course, you've also got Pellegrini at uh, Manchester City, and they're looking strong. They spent over £100 million already in pre-season. And uh, they look like a team that really want to get that Premier League title back. Carlos Rodriguez here really wants to slow things down and uh, just get back there and check to see uh, that his teammate is okay. Alex Alcande still down on both knees. There's uh, Alex Gomez, the second consecutive Spanish coach of the Hong Kong champions, Kichi. Yeah, and of course, as we said before, they're known as Hong, Hong Kong Barca, you know, very much in that mould. Uh, they train a lot of sort of short passes, keep the ball on, on the ground, which is not really conducive with this type of pitch this evening. But uh, it will be good to actually see them. I mean, they look a little bit scared against United this evening. They look, look like deer, deer in head, headlights at times. And I'm sure that uh, once they get them in at half-time, we'll just steady them down a little bit. Uh, United have probably taken their foot off the gas in the last five minutes or so. You know, 3-0 three, three, three up pre-season. And uh, all these players are always worried about getting injured. Uh, you know, we had uh, Jan Vertonghen uh, from uh, Tottenham Hotspur last week, twisted his ankle on this on this pitch and probably going to be out for three or four weeks. Of course, and that's the photograph that's been used again and again over the last couple of days when there's been so much discussion about this pitch and the state of the drainage uh, and uh, what it means for the future of tournaments like this being played in Hong Kong unless they can come up with an alternative win. The only answer is a bigger, better stadium. And uh, Timothy Fock, a great stalwart of Hong Kong sport this morning, saying uh, he agrees. We absolutely have to have a stadium with a roof. And that, of course, is to keep these torrential monsoonal downpours off the pitch. Well, of course, we know that uh, the, the, the wettest summer you ever have is a summer in Hong, Hong Kong. It's always very wet here. And uh, unfortunately, these matches can't be played in the winter. So uh, we, we need something to sort these elements out. Lovely bit of footwork by Young, but it all came to nothing. This is Carlos Rodriguez. And the cheer goes up now for Kitchi. Across for Lamb, scooting across in front of the referee's feet. And Anne is uh, out to the left, and that perhaps would have been a better option. Keane regains Fabio now, well, straight through to Zaha. Well, United have been so effective down this right side this evening with uh, Fabio and Z Zaha. But, uh, again, Carrick, you see, playing those lovely balls from the centre of mid midfield. And uh, really is the unsung hero of this, of, of this team. Gets a lot of criticism in the press. But uh, certainly is uh, going to be a player that's going to be around for a, a, few, a few more seasons for United. Well, as this half winds down, United perhaps looking for a fourth goal. Kitchy, though, don't be surprised to see them come back and uh, have a pretty credible stab at goal in the second half. They do look tired and worn down now, though. Though this is Anan. Juan, out wide for Cancela. And Kitchi just running out of ideas at time. And United just getting a, a solid line of uh, back four players there. 
And Kitchi unfortunately is running out of ideas. And coming to nothing. Carrick just bobbles that one over for Zaha. The arm around the uh, chest there of Matt Lamb, right in front of the referee. The number 20 there for Kitchi, who came on as a substitute from uh, for the skipper, Chusu K. As we talked about earlier, Andrew, the pace, the whole pace of the match has just dropped. So not really many chances, but uh, this is the best chance Kit Kit you'll have. Matt Lamb with the free kick. Welbeck decides he's going to go for a sprint. Welbeck out on his own against a phalanx of blue shirts. And in the end there, Welbeck making the wrong choice. Should have passed it out to Ashley Young on the wing. And that attack comes to nothing. Cancelo there, just uh, keeping it in, only just, and Anne takes the risks, centres that straight uh, to the safe feet of Everett. Now this is Carrick, uh, one minute to be added on at the end of this half. United play now like they would like to take a quick shower. Back for Keane again. Yeah, unfortunately, the crowd want to, want to see goals in these type, types of matches, and uh, they'll be looking forward to players like Robin Van Persie coming on in the second half and uh, putting the ball in the net. Young. Carrick picks out Welbeck. Yes, an outstretched arm there by Everett, just missing that ball. They've got Anan sprinting, they've got to get that ball to him, and they've left it too late. Back for Zaha, who seems to be all over the pitch. United lead Kitchi three goals to nil on a very steamy night here in Hong Kong. Well, all these red-shirted fans have certainly gotten what they've come for, and we are only 45 minutes down. We'll take a quick break and be back in a moment. Stay with us.